ready to go there? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that, that was the one. flight time from John F. Kennedy International Airport in New York City to Buffalo Niagara International Airport in Buffalo, New York from gate to gate is approximately 1 hour and 20 minutes. We're here at Buffalo Niagara International Airport in Buffalo, New York. I ordered a taxi from Buffalo Airport Taxi and we're on our way to meet the taxi. Oh, Canada. Oh, that's the mist from the falls? Yeah. Oh, coming up. Yeah. Ah! It oh, looks like wow. smoke coming up, but it's yeah. mist here. Yeah. Oh, wow. We're driving by Niagara, Niagara Falls State Park, the New York side. your eyes on the two flags here we exit the united states and enter canada for the first time we cross a border by car rainbow bridge now we're in canada <laughs> yeah oh, obviously we have to put that canada. flag right there So as we enter, we enter this little, is that my knee cracking? Yeah, my knee's cracking, okay. So as we enter, we enter this area with a dining room table, if you wanna call it that. You can call it an office table, whatever you wanna call it. I'll say it's a dining room. So as we enter, we enter the dining room, then the living room area. As you can see, there's an ottoman, some trash cans, and a little kitchenette area here with a refrigerator size. Bigger than the one at work. Here's the microwave. And I don't know if this is actually a cupboard under there. I'm probably not going to open it honestly because, well, alright, I'm here. Might as well. Yep, no cupboard. Um, and a mini sink. There's a television out here. So you can sit, chill on the couch and watch TV. I'm not sure if that pulls out into a bed, but we won't need it because it's only two of us today. To the right as you enter is the bathroom. There's a mirror, sink of course, have some toiletries here, shampoo, conditioner, lotion, and soap. There are a bunch of switches here. So these two are for right when you step in, these two brighten the bathroom a bit more, and this is for the shower. Toilet, trash can, washcloths, and towels. I already opened the shower door, so here we go. Decent sized shower. Let's close the shower door. Behind the door is a hook, and that's the bathroom. Now to the bedroom. <laughs> There's the bed, the highlight of the bedroom, right? There are tables, nightstands on the side, 
with outlets right next to it and a telephone and lamp on one side. The other side has an alarm clock and lamp with outlets as well. A little nook back here with a luggage rack. There's a closet here. Apologies for the dim looking room. Okay, there's the safe and television, three drawers here. So there's actually really good storage space for two, I would say, in this room. All right, Al, can you give the room some light? Open those curtains, please. There's some more drawers here. drawers and there are similar drawers on the other side. I feel like if you've seen one drawer, you've seen them all. But thank you for the light. So much better in here. Look. Take a look around the room. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Alright. And now let's see what the view is giving. <sighs> it's Niagara Falls, y'all. Look at that. That is the view from our room here at the Embassy Suites. Falls view, Niagara Falls. <sighs> yeah, I could just stand here and watch. Alan and I came in before I recorded the room tour and just stood here for a minute. Like this is gorgeous. <sighs> and I know that I know that the camera is not gonna do it justice. You have to be here. I'm not even editing yet. I'm not watching a replay yet. I'm recording and I'm not even looking through the camera because I'm looking through the window at the falls. It's gorgeous. What's there you, Al? Oh, this is breathtaking right here. Yeah. This is, wow. The sun is like beaming too, like in my eye. In my eye. So this is gorgeous. This is the reason we booked this room. It's called the Falls View. Embassy Suites by Hilton, Niagara Falls, Falls View Hotel, and well, you see why. Not every room has a Falls View, so you do have to look for this when booking. And there are different types of Falls View. This is a Canadian Falls View. They actually have another option where you get a full Falls View. This is good for me. They tried to upgrade us at check-in for $100 more to do the full Falls View, but this is good for me. Alright, so we're about to start our day, our first day in Canada, our first day at Niagara Falls. We're on an anniversary weekend, I know, but we just watched church service, uh, we love our church, and we're about to head out to, should I call this an excursion, Alan? What's this? We're about to head out to experience something and we're gonna take you along. If you wanna come, stick around and see. I need to put an extra layer on though. It's 50 something degrees. What, how, how cold is it, Al? 56. Okay, so 56, around 56 degrees right now. Uh, I need to put that extra layer on the bed on. So we're gonna head out in a few, take you along with us to experience something. Our first experience outside of the hotel here in Niagara Falls. Let's go see what it's giving over at the sign that says to the falls and attractions. Let's see what attractions we can get into. Yeah, it's windy out here. Oh. 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 Center to the falls. We're going to 
going to walk towards that on the left. Al's already over there, so let's go. Look at how gorgeous Niagara Falls is! Oh my goodness! It started to rain, y'all. But who cares? We're at Niagara Falls. We're gonna get wet anyway, right? The mist from here is amazing. But that's not mist you're seeing. If you're seeing it on the screen, it's rain. Alan just pointed out that it's a better view of the Canadian Falls from closer to the U.S. Falls. We're putting two and two together. This is the U.S. Falls and that's the Canadian Falls. You guys, I just zoomed in because you see those boats? Those boats go into the falls, like into the falls. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below if you would get on a boat into Niagara Falls. May I have your attention please? This is an important safety risk. This boat is equipped with all necessary and proper firefighting and life-saving equipment. In the event of an emergency, our trained crew members will assist you with your life-saving equipment. our way up the Niagara River. Look to port, or the left side of the boat, where we will pass the American Falls. It can best be described as the American side of Niagara Falls, which in comparison is a smaller waterfall that lies far to the left of the Horseshoe Falls and is located between Prospect Point and Luna Island. According to scientific study and historical research, it has been concluded that the American Falls will eventually transform into a succession of descending rapids due to natural forces of erosion. The high flow rate of water causes the fall of large sections of bedrock from the American Falls, which is composed of soft shale and limestone. Though the height of the American Falls is higher than the Canadian counterpart, no daredevil ever preferred to go over the American Falls. All stunts were performed from the Canadian Horseshoe Falls, which is more popular with its immense water flow rate and shape. The height of the American Falls stands at 180 feet or 56 meters high. Its crest line, 1,075 feet or 328 meters wide. Its water flow, 75,000 gallons or 8,800 liters per second. And a recent notable rockfall. In 1954, a large section broke off and fell near the end of Prospect Point. Next is Bridalville Falls. The smallest of the three waterfalls, it is located on the American side, just to the right of the American Falls, separated by Luna Island. Goat Island is much larger and separates the American and Bridalville Falls from the Canadian Horseshoe Falls. The height of Bridalville Falls is 181 feet or 55 meters and remains the smallest waterfall compared to its two counterparts. Floating on the water is dissolved limestone and is created naturally due to the massive erosion forces of falling water. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. It's amazing. I, I don't have any work, and that's kind of rare.
that, but as you saw earlier, we took a car across the border. So, Alan, what's your take on the ride? It's the ride was incredible. 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 I would do it again. Yes, I, I really would. would. I would definitely do that Not again. Not sure if we're going to, but it's really a thought for this weekend. Yeah. So, we'll see. Oh yeah, it's all, all good. <laughs> it is all good. Time to cross. my perfume to put on because Alan and I got cleaned up because we were soaking wet and you know anyway I realized what perfume I brought do you guys see this what it says it's when the rain stops that's the perfume that I brought and we just got rained on a whole lot and I also had this with me when we were on the Carnival Venezia in all girls sailing and it was pouring rain I think I'm gonna stop traveling with the perfume that says when the rain stops I think that's the name when the rain stops. See? See it? See? All jokes aside though, I really, really love this line of perfume and it's sold at Sephora. I don't know where else it's sold, but at Sephora in a four pack. So you get a sampling of Sailing it. Sailing Day and When the Rain Stops are the two that I brought on this trip. The other two in the set are Bubble Bath and Beach Walk. They all smell so good. It's a set from Sephora. It's a sampler. So then if you like it, you can buy the full size either from Sephora or elsewhere. It's the Replica uh, Travel Set. So I highly recommend. And if you already know about it, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what scent is your favorite. Honestly, for me, it's Sailing Day. I mean, for real, for real. Not just, you know, not just because we're my cruising family and I love to cruise, but I really do love Sailing Day um, more than the other three, but they all smell really good. When we checked in, we got this sheet of coupons for restaurants in the area, restaurants, stores, attractions. And tonight we're going to the keg. So here we're on the 17th floor where our room is located, about to walk down to the 9th floor because one elevator has been out of service and the other elevators have had a very long wait. We went down to Starbucks earlier and experienced that. So the stairs it is on the way to the keg restaurant for our anniversary dinner. You know the deal. Take a look at the menus here at the keg and let us know what you would order if you were here with us for dinner.
16 more and 16 more and more and more and more. Decades more, babe. There's Alan's calamari. My sizzling shrimp. It all looks and smells. How does it look and smell, Al? Come on. It smells delicious. It smells it's amazing. So good. So good. over the falls at 10 p.m. Is it on the U.S. side? I hear fireworks and I don't see them. What's happening? I can see the flashes too, but... Oh yeah, I see the flashes. Fireworks are on the U.S. side and we're missing it. You can see flashes reflecting in the falls. So you know that there are fireworks happening, but you can't see them from the Canadian Falls view room. So FYI, you would probably want the um, Canadian and American side Falls view. I don't remember what it's called, but the US and Canada Falls view together if you want to see the fireworks from your room. Day one in Niagara Falls is a wrap. Good morning from you know where. We are on our 14th wedding anniversary kind of vacation it's really a long weekend trip we're taking you along so come see what we get into on day two of this trip yes this is the view we woke up to this morning niagara falls horseshoe falls the canadian side yes our booking at the embassy suite by hilton niagara falls falls you included a free breakfast buffet we got the breakfast ticket when we checked in and so we are going to hand that in here at the entrance to the keg and enjoy breakfast so here it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. They have typical breakfast stuff, pancakes, pork sausages, made-to-order omelets, you know, that's our thing, um, and some home fries. Is this what's called home fries? Look, some potatoes, all right, some potatoes. I'm about to share with you what we got. This is my plate after I had some of the fries, and Alan's after he had some of the fries. The fries are really good. I think it said Yukon potatoes, Yukon gold potatoes, and Alan got group wine tour with cheese and charcuterie in Niagara on the Lake. I booked this tour through Viator and it is operated by Out of Town Lincoln. Yes, we bought a bottle of Canada's famous ice wine from Caroline Cellars, the first stop on this wine tour. Thank you. Now to our second stop on this wine tour, Between the Lines Winery, where we also get cheese and charcuterie. more ice wine. This is a favorite for our group and very popular here in the Niagara on the Lake region. Let us know in the comments below if you've had ice wine before. 
So this on the left, uh, on the left here, this is Fort George. This is the British fort during the War of 1812. Oh wow! Yeah, this Niagara River emptying into the here. Now, before we get to the two other wineries that we will visit, it is time for some free time in Niagara on the Lakes shopping district to stroll the pretty streets in this quaint town in Ontario's wine country. This is a well-preserved 19th century village. The Owl and the Pussycat was one of my favorite books as a kid and there's an entire store here with that name. Niagara on the lake, ladies and gentlemen. Alan is in the window looking at some food. Where is he? Right there. Crocodiles and gators. This is the bread that Alan is looking at. This is so cute. All right. So we're going to try some gyros. Is See that what you want to eat? Yes, that's what I want to eat. All right then, let's go. All right. Y'all see, this is moments like this, why in part I feel like we needed this trip. You know my cruising family, obviously you're watching us, but maybe you don't know us. And if you don't know us, then maybe I'm sharing too much family business with y'all. <laughs> but here we are on our anniversary trip. And so Alan's probably a bit annoyed that I always have a camera, but it's actually way less than we have on regular trips, other trips. But I then am annoyed that, well, I'm the only one doing my cruising family, but as I was sharing with Alan not too long ago, in one of my little sour moments, God reminded me that it's called my cruising family, not our cruising family. And if he's tasked me with this vlog, this blog, this business, then don't be mad at Alan for doing whatever he's tasked Alan with doing. So, you know, it is my cruising family and I just kind of come to grips with running a business now we follow other couples who are doing their business as a couple that doesn't mean Peter Gay and Alan were anointed to do this thing here as a couple and so it's a lesson right now learning a lot those of you who have been following us for a minute do know that you know I'm trying to focus on the business stuff and learning the business stuff and all that I'm looking around because there's a bunch of okay hold on one second Y'all see that? I was walking and talking to y'all and then I hear a lot of oohs and ahs and they all oohing and ahing at some dogs. But you know, different strokes for different folks. Anyway, I think we have pretty much walked to the end of the shopping area at Niagara on the Lake. And we're gonna cross the street where it's safe to cross, this is not it. And head on back to get those gyros we talked about getting for lunch. But um, Y'all know, it's me. I share stuff like this. Um, another thing that I recently said, sorry, gotta be looking around, it's mad. Like, it's quaint in a small town, but it's so many people here because it's so popular. Um, it's one of the things I also said to Alan recently is, I'm a private person, he already knows that. He's a private person too. We're private people, so sharing our family adventures and just sharing our family online is a huge step and for me yes we're private but I'm also real so it's like okay if we've made the decision to share I'm gonna share and so like feelings like this things like this uh, we've been talking about quite a bit um, and then just life life and then the you know pressures of being parents in New York City working and him trying to be supportive husband me trying to be supportive wife and trying to build a business and take classes while I'm working and doing all that stuff. Um, it's a lot. So, ooh, look, it's a horse-drawn carriage right by us. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like it's only fair if we've decided to share that I share. So people don't know it's not always as easy as it looks. And I think I've shared with you guys that like a colleague had said, we make it look like you know, we're one big happy family and we are a happy family, but it doesn't mean we don't have challenges. So, 
you make the best of what you have and your family is a blessing and you get through the challenges together so basically I'm saying all that um, to say families go through things again apologies because there's a lot of people and I don't even know this area so we got to make sure that we haven't passed where we're trying to go so I'm looking around while I'm talking to you but families go through things you go through them together and um, you know when you're a couple you have to make time to get away by yourself when you get away by yourself yes you rekindle your flame and I have to say you will also it's just the two of you so you are going to see your strengths again that you all should already know if you're already a couple um, and your challenges that may irk you and all that stuff you deal with it right um, you deal with it but the point of getaways especially on your anniversary vacations and when it's just the two of you is to rekindle um, and make the best of every moment I tend to like to capture stuff on camera and do it spontaneously and some planned um, and Alan is different so I mean you know you just you work with what you got again if you're a couple you know what you got and you know each other's strengths and you know each other's challenges and you got to balance it out y'all know I'm the talkative one <laughs> so I don't know if you're gonna hear from Alan but just thought I'd share that as we're walking around you know it's one of the things I've said as a content creator there are many content creators I've even at times posted I love it here when you're at home and sharing your daily life day-to-day -day things and part of why I'm pausing to do this little segment as we walk up and down Niagara on the lake is because I'm very conscious of not giving the wrong impression of a perfect life okay because it's not that and there's a lot of times I don't love it here well I love it here on Niagara on the lake because it's vacation or you know our long weekend anniversary trip but there are a lot of times when things get rough and content creators I don't think are any different um, maybe some people really genuinely always 100% love it at their house and in their family um, there are times I don't <laughs> and maybe that's why I travel so much sometimes but I just want to say that if you're watching us or any other creator just know things get real from time to time and now Peter Gay is saying from my cruise and family we always love it we do not always love it but I'm gonna tell you this we will always make the best of it we've made it to gyros on the lake for lunch I say gyro Alan says gyro New Yorkers say gyro I've been saying that since high school but I've been hearing people say hero with like an H sound let us know in the comments below do you say gyro with a G sound or hero with an H sound How's good. Everything is good. Very Thank good. you very much. Thank you. Everything good so far, guys? You have to choose your battles carefully when you're married. Our goal is to come together, rekindle, reflect, work on the positives. The positives are we love each other dearly. At the end of the day, we love one another. We will do whatever we have to to keep that love strong, to keep that love positive, to keep that going. The cons is that we continue to allow life to get in and frustrate and choke that out. As far as the social media aspect is concerned, my wife has known me for 18 years. We've been together for 17 and we've been married for 14. And in those 18 years, I have never been involved in social media. I don't have any kind of social media account. You can't find me anywhere on social media unless it's something that she has posted. I have to try to find my way where I fit in and how to support her and at the same time cover yeah. and protect at the same time as far as this social media this channel and all this is concerned I don't expect her and I don't want her to do all this by herself but this is all new to me like I said it's something that I have to learn to understand I have to understand the entire social media aspect. Not that I'm going to be a part of it, but I have to find my way where I can support her the best I can to the knowledge that I have. Gorgeous flowers. Historical building. Yes. 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 
Oh. It's really quaint and pretty, I have to say. On to Reef Estate Winery, the third winery we will be visiting today. Leaving Reef Estate Winery, we are off to Chateau de Charme, the fourth and final winery for today. Sharing laughs with the fun group that joined us for this tour today, it's now time to head back to our van and back to our hotel. Our van is now driving through the same Clifton Hill streets that Alan and I got soaked walking through yesterday in the rain and wind. We ordered in dinner from the Keg Steakhouse right here on the premises of the Embassy Suites and we're watching Space Jam bonding as husband and wife. It's been a wonderful day too. And just like that, it's time to leave Niagara Falls. It's time for us to head back to New York guys. Thanks for following, thanks for watching and see you next time. Visiting a new country, cruising into Niagara Falls, wine tasting, real talk and flying back to New York on our actual anniversary. It's been a really good trip. Through our entire real talk segment, one thing that I don't think either one of us said to wrap up, and so we're gonna wrap it up now, is that we are works in progress. So we are wrapping up this anniversary, vacation, weekend, May, getaway. Um, but we are works in progress. And there's a reason why we select the song, or selected the song that our channel uses for the intro and outro that says everywhere we go we turn to paradise meaning physically everywhere we go some places they think you know they think of it as paradise already like jamaica and barbados and, you know places in the caribbean and on the beach and all that great stuff but we don't mean it just physically everywhere we go we turn to paradise in terms of our circumstances and situations and so our life our marriage our family all that good stuff we turn it to paradise we make the best of it Let's make the best of this ice wine. Until next time.